a company made a cuboidal box of size 16 by 12 by 5 to sell ice cream. But later on, it was found that the capacity of the box was 14.28% less than the required capacity. They needed some capacity and accordingly they had made a box of dimension 16 by 12 by 5. But after making it, they found that the capacity was 14.28% less than what they needed. While the height of the box was correct. So what they found was the height of the box was correct, which is 5 inches. See out of 6, 12 and 5, we can say this is like length into breadth into height. So they found that the height is correct, 5 inches is correct, but something went wrong in the length and breadth because of which the volume came out to be 14.28 percentage less. Now as per the requirement, he had to increase the length and breadth. He had to increase both length and breadth of the box in equal amounts, in equal amounts. Then the percentage increase in the area of the base of the boxes. So what is the percentage increase? What is the percentage increase in the area of the base of the box? So let's try it out. See, the volume of the box, right? I would say uh, obtained volume, right? The obtained volume of the box is how much? 16 into 12 into 5, which is uh, 60 into 6, right? 960, 960 uh, cubic inches, right? 960 units, let's say. Hey, they found that the capacity of the box is 14.28 percentage less than the required capacity. This is this obtained volume of the box is how much? It is 14.28 percentage less than the required capacity. Are you able to follow? Which means uh, this is equal to required volume minus 14.28 percentage. Are you able to follow? It is 14.28 percentage less than the required volume. So we can say that, see 14.28 percentage, 14.28 uh, 2 8 percentage is nothing but 1 by 7. You must know all these conversions, right? 14.28 percentage is equal to 1 by 7 in terms of fractions. And dealing with fractions would be easier here. So we can say um, required volume minus 14.28 percentage is 1 seventh of required volume, right? 1 seventh of required volume is equal to 960. So from this, the required volume comes out to be. See, these are all too many steps. Please cut down, right? You can you can straight write that required volume is 916 to 7 by 6. If you understand the calculation, then you need not write the second and third step. Here itself, you can say, see, it is 14.28 percentage less. So 14.28 percentage of what? 14.28 percentage of the required volume. Don't get confused, right? 14.28 percentage of the required volume. Right, whatever 960 we have got is required volume minus 14.28 percentage less. Now 14.28 percentage is 1 seventh. So directly write 1 by 7 here itself. In fact, directly write 916 to 7 by 6 required volume. Right? Now simplify this. This goes how many times? 160 times. So 160 into 7. That will come out to be 1120. Right? So we know that the required volume is equal to 1120. Now he says as per the requirement, he had to increase the length and breadth of the box in equal amounts. See the height was correct. According to him, the height was correct. So, so if you understand, what should be the required base area? Required base area is 1120 by 5. See, base area is nothing but volume by height. You are getting it? You know that volume is equal to base into height, right? Volume is equal to base into height. We know that the height is 5. So base will be volume by height. Volume by height is 1120 by 5, which comes out to be how much? 224. So the base area, required base area is 224. What is the actual base area? I mean, what is the obtained base area? 16 into 12. 16 into 12 is how much? 192. What is the obtained base area? 16 into 12, which is 192. That's it. You know both the values. He's asking us to find out the percentage increase in the area of the box. So obtained was 192, but the required is 224. So how much has it increased? Percentage increase. You know that percentage change is final minus initial by initial into 100. So 224 minus 192 by 192 into 100. Do this calculation. So 224 minus 192 is 32. 32 by 192. 6 times, right? 1 by 6 times. So 160 is 16.66 percentage. So we can say the change in the area is 16.66 percentage, which is option 3.